long enough if you can love me Here in this week's video, we're going to do a Walt Disney World bucket list. So I have a list of 15 things on my phone, and we're going to do everything that I want to do soon at Disney World. So let's get started. So the first thing is to stay at all the Walt Disney World resorts. Disney has a lot of resorts, and I've only stayed in one. I've stayed at Coronado Springs. It's a really nice resort. I really loved it. But I want to say at least all of them. Um, I'm going to Disney pretty soon and I'm going to stay at Pop Century. So I'm going to stay over there because they have the Skyliner and everything. I also wanted to stay at Riviera, but it's so expensive. So we'll see if I ever get to stay over there. Um, the second thing on my list is eat a Mickey pretzel. Even though I've been to Disney, I can have the pretzels. I really want to try their sweet cream cheese pretzel or something. Whatever it's called, that looks so good and I would love to try that one. Next thing on my list is to become a Disney annual pass holder. I feel like I've been going to Disney like every year. I went last year, I went this year for my birthday. Um, I really have a lot of trips planned in my mind. But we're going to see if I have enough time to go there. But like eventually me soon. I want to go like at least twice a year. Maybe three times. So hopefully I can become an annual pass holder. Um, going to the Disney World water parks. Um, they have two water parks. And I haven't been there. But they look really fun. Um, and like the Disney vloggers I've watched. They go there and they have an amazing time. So. I would love to go over there. I want to go to Mickey's Not So Halloween Party. In all the videos I've seen, it looks so amazing. The treats, the merch, the vibe, the parade shows, the castle show. Like, I really want to go. So, hopefully, I could go. Next thing is going to Mickey's Merry, Merry Christmas Party. I love the cookie trail thing they have going on that looks really fun I like, and I really want to look at the Christmas holiday overlays so that would be amazing go to festival of the holidays at Epcot um yeah same thing trying all the food the merch the vibe the holiday overlays on the rides I would love to go during that time to watch a castle show at Magic Kingdom is next on my list. Even though I've been to Disney, I haven't watched the castle show. I've seen the parades, but never the castle show. I feel like every time during those times, I'm on a ride or we're just far away from the castle. So I want to see one of the castle shows. Next is get all the songs on Guardians of the Galaxy. I went on the ride for the first time in April for my birthday and we got conga so that was great so I want to see if I can get all like the rest of the five um to have the hamburger bow buns from Animal Kingdom I've heard it tastes like the Big Mac so I want to try that cheeseburger spring rolls from Magic Kingdom I heard they're good but I've never had them before so I'd love to try those next at Roundup Rodeo in Hollywood Studios. I love Hollywood Studios. It is my favorite park. Um, I love Toy Story, my absolute favorite movie. When I went um, in April, we Disney bound and I was Jesse. So I love Hollywood Studios. I love Toy Story. So I'd love to eat over here, but I heard it's overrated for what, they're ha what they have and like some of the food is not that good. So I still want to try it. Try it just for myself. Um, next on my list is Deluxe Magic Hours. I've never stayed at a del deluxe resort yet, so I would love to try it. My list is to go to all the festivals that Epcot has to offer. So Festival of the Arts, Festival of the Holidays, Food and Wine Festival, and Flower and Garden. 
I've been to Flower and Garden Festival. And I think I've been to Food and Wine. I went last year in February, so hopefully that's the right one. But yeah, so I want to do all those. And the last thing on my list is to eat at or have drinks at Oga's Cantina. They have this drink that makes your tongue numb, so I really want to try that. And they just have a lot of drinks to offer, so I would love to go on to include a mini Disney haul. I didn't want to do a another video on this because I only got two items, so it's fine. But the first item that I did get is a new lounge fly. I got the new Iridescent Sky mini exclusive lounge fly from 707 Street. It's such a beautiful lounge fly. I will zoom in. Color is beautiful. Like it's so gorgeous. And then on the inside, there is um, little Mickey bubbles inside. This is really pretty. It's an iridescent blue. It's an iridescent blue backpack with slight purple shifts and gold shifts, and then. The studs are gold. So Mickey's on a quilted pocket. It's so cute, but my bag did come damaged. The ears, I don't know if you can tell, but they're like not positioned the same. So like the packaging was really poor. And then one of the Minnie Mouse studs fell off. So I did reach out to Seminole Street and they haven't gone back to me, so hopefully I could get this backpack replaced, but I've heard a lot of people were having troubles with this particular backpack, with it coming damaged and whatnot, so mine's minimal, but I would still like my launch light to be like 100%, so about this time. The mini churro ears. Um, I, in my last video, I did a Disney purchase or pass and I talked about these show ears and I bought them. They're so beautiful. They're a little bit heavy but they're gorgeous. There is a gold shimmery headband part and then the chocolate dip churros are so cute with a hard bow. So yeah, beautiful. So yeah guys, Sally is the end of my video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like and subscribe and keep coming back to my channel. So, bye guys.